This is a very good question. In fact, it is the most frequent and common question in many interviews. Now let us look at this. In venturometer, the fluid will go to enter at this point. That's why we we'll call it as the inlet, and the fluid will exit at this point. That's why it is called as the outlet. Now what happens in this case is, as the venturometer construction looks like this, this part is called as a converging cone, and here usually the length of this part is very less. And this is the part where we get the vena cava rectum. And the other side, this part in the downstream, whatever the part we are having here, that is called as the diverging cone. Now, vena cava rectum means when the fluid is entering here at the inlet, as the area of cross section is very high here, the pressure will be high. And while it is inward entering into converging cone, slowly the pressure will be less and the velocity will be high. And this is the location exactly where. the fluid streamlines will find a very low area of cross section the velocity will be very high at vena contractor naturally the pressure will be very less and while it is coming back again the liquid will go and get the pressure again that is this is actually called the pressure recovery point downstream so all together this is inlet i mean upstream and it is going to be downstream here now what happens in the case of converging cone is as we know the fluid streamlines will flow in this way after this point we are going to get vena contracta and at the vena contracta point usually the velocity of the fluid is very high and the pressure will be less let me say pressure as p here and the pressure is too low at vena contracta generally now in the converging cone up to this point as the area is very high velocity is less so the pressure will be high now when the converging cone starts slowly the liquid will going to lose its pressure that's why during the converging cone the pressure gradient that is dp by dx people indicate this as a negative quantity the reason is when it is when the fluid is moving in the x direction linearly during this zone the fluid will going to lose the pressure i mean the pressure change will be negative so slowly it will lose the pressure and this length as i said it is very less but where we find the vena contracta and in fact during this zone we will be almost see that dp by dx that is pressure gradient is almost equal to zero it won't be exactly equal to zero practically but we from mathematical convenience we are going to take the pressure gradient is almost zero pressure gradient is zero means it doesn't mean that the pressure is zero the variation of the pressure while the fluid is flowing in this particular length that is zero variation of pressure is zero but pressure is not zero now when it coming to this side as the area of cross section seen by the fluid is slowly increasing so the velocity will going to slowly decrease at the same time the pressure will going to increase that means dp by dx now it will be greater than zero so in one single line what i can say is during converging cone the fluid will going to lose the pressure and exactly near to vena contractor pressure variation is very less and in diverging zone or diverging cone the pressure growth will be high now most important question is why it should be 21 degrees here and why it should be 5 degrees because in the figure we have taken here something like this converging cone that is let me say converging as cyn theta converging that is equal to we have taken like 21 degrees and theta diverging we have taken it as 5 degrees and it is the most common question why the angle should be less compared to this and the second thing is why the length of the diverging cone is very high in the case of venturi meter now listen these two points very clearly so there is a property in fluid mechanics if the pressure of the fluid is increased then the fluid will go into deviate from the boundary layer it won't take the support of the boundary boundary layer and in fact the fluid particles will come out of the streamlines that means if you see in the normal fluid flow all the particles this particle this particle this particle all particles are flowing in a streamline and this flow this streamline will take the boundary layer support and similarly this side also it will going to happen but now suppose instead of taking 5 degrees suppose if you take very high diverging angle that means if i take something like this let us see what will going to happen if i take something like this 
maybe uh, let us consider like if I increase this to 20 degrees, let's see what will going to happen here. If the moment when we increase this diverging cone angle, then immediately the dp by dx growth will be very high. That means pressure recovery will be too fast. That means the gain of the pressure of the fluid will be very fast. Even for a small distance, the pressure will be increased so much. That means the fluid particles in this particular case at this point, this point, these fluid particles now as the pressure is very high, these fluid particles will deviate from the boundary layer because viscosity cannot control the high pressurized fluid particle. Thereby, this fluid particle will deviate from the streamline. This particle will deviate from the streamline and they will not be supported by the boundary layer also. So then these particles will go into offer a small turbulence here and they will going to form the eddies like this. That means these are eddies. These rounds here, the circles are called eddies. And this process is actually called as a flow separation. And it is not going to happen only at this side. Even this side also, if you see, the fluid particles will going to form the eddies like this. That means high pressure fluid particles now won't lessen the boundary layer and they will going to form the eddies. And there is one more problem. As the pressure of these fluid particles is very high because the area is high here, there is a point, there is a problem that the stagnation may come into the picture. Because once the pressure is very high at this point, there is a chance that the velocity may become zero. That means these fluid particles will become stagnant. If these two, uh, these fluid particles stagnates, then it, dif it is very difficult for the fluid particles which are coming next. They cannot push this uh, stagnated fluid particles. So these will require the extra pressure. So that means there will be some pressure loss also. So this means that if we increase the diverging angle, diverging angle, then there are two problems. One is the pressure of the fluid particles will going to increase rapidly. And when the pressure of the fluid particles increase rapidly, we will going to get a disc. Let me write down like this, a disc. Formation of a disc will going to take place. And the second thing is, there is a chance that these fluid particles will going to become stagnant. So we require extra power, pressure to be pumped at this point. So pressure loss will go into occur. So to overcome these two problems, that is, and this is one problem, and there might be a chance for the stagnation. So to overcome these two problems, what people try to do is, they will not go for 20 degrees, like 20 degrees they won't keep. In fact, they will go to keep very less diverging angle. And the usual ratio is, usual ratio is this angle is one third of this angle and there are many uh, different different approaches are there but generally people select like this should be one third of this one so here the value changes from 15 degrees to 25 degrees depending upon the type of fluid depending upon the type of situation and many other factors here the angle will go to change from 5 degrees to 10 degrees or maybe 15 degrees maximum this is all about this now the next question here itself, that is, why can't we reverse this one? That is, why we won't place this here and this converging cone that side. So that means, the problem is, if the converging cone is too long, usually you won't feel any problem. But if the diverging cone is too short, what will going to happen? There is a chance that the pressure growth will be very fast. If the pressure growth is very fast, then naturally, again, the streamline fluid particles will separate from the streamlines and there is a chance that eddies will going to form and these eddies will be too high. If the eddies are too high, these fluid particles cannot move this eddies to the right side. Then what will going to happen? Then all these fluid particles will try to come back side direction. So they will come back. So to overcome these two problems, we generally try to make the length of the diverging cone is high and the angle is low and that should be at this side. And here, we don't discuss too much about the converging cone because during the converging cone journey, uh, during the journey in the converging cone, fluid particle pressure will reduce. So we don't get any problem. So reduction of the pressure is not a problem, but while recovering the pressure, 
it should not be too fast it should not be you know like within some limited distance so this is the answer hope you question. enjoyed the video thanks for watching and if you want to find more of this kind of questions connect to my channel namaste